Hello there, this is Matt McCool with Motion VFX, and today we're taking a look at our brand new pack for DaVinci Resolve, M Real Estate. Once you have M Real Estate installed, you can find it under the effects library under video transitions. There are five transitions here, as well as titles. Now we have some contacts, icons, infographics, lower thirds, tools, and typography. We have a total of 91 titles. And we also have 20 different effects. Some of these involve multiple clips, and we'll get into that in just a minute. So you can click on Toolbox and search for M Real Estate, and that will just bring up all the assets all in one location here. We have a couple of lists, which are kind of a nice way to show some stats about the property that you're trying to list or sell. So let's drop this one on top of our footage here. And over here in the inspector, you can adjust the overall location and size using the content controls. So maybe I'll push this kind of up here. You can also modify the text. And of course, you can also change the stats right here. So here's what that looks like. And there's also a couple of these additional text elements that kind of give some more information. This one's pretty cool. It's got up to five logo drop zones. So let's actually put this on the timeline and see how this works. So over here in the logo controls, you can browse for your different logos. You can also change the count of the logo. So let's just change that to three. And now our frame is a little bit too wide. So under the frame controls, we can just reduce the width. Okay, I'm actually gonna delete that. I just wanted to show how you can input different logos in there. We also have a few callouts with like a location drop for this one, different kind of callouts and specs, some calls to action. Let's actually put this one right on this shot here and we can trim it to fit the clip. And of course, just like all of our presets, the timing will automatically adjust. And maybe we'll push this down a bit here. And let's take a look at some of these lower thirds. There are 10 different lower thirds to choose from. So depending on the shot and depending on your style, I think all of them will work nicely. They all look sleek and modern, professional. Let's try this one on top of the next clip here. And maybe with our description control here, we can maybe push this text over. Let's make it a little bit more bold and we can also make that line a little bit thicker under the element controls here. Let's take a look at some of these infographics. A lot of these have some pretty clever math going on behind the scenes. So for example, this one, let's just drop this on this clip here. And actually, let me go into the color page just real quick. And I'm just gonna make this shot a little bit blurry and maybe we'll darken it just a bit so that we can see our infographic a little bit clearer. So I'm gonna put this right on top and you can see this one kind of animates a circle on and counts up to the inputted square footage. So over here under the amount, you can actually adjust this. So let's say this is like a 2,400 square foot house. Now obviously that's gonna be close to the end. If you wanted this to kind of show a different proportion, you can just type in a larger amount for this. So like maybe 4,000. And you can see that updates the proportion properly. I'm going to delete that. And a lot of these are just really nice ways to kind of list some of the specs about the property that you're listing. See, this one kind of animates a grid with six boxes to input various specifications. A similar thing here, a renovation cost breakdown. Let's take a look at infographic number three. So. This one's got kind of a lot going on. It's got five different items with a price next to them. And then you have this kind of circle chart with the total amount there. And if you actually go into these entries here, you can see how if you slide the amount that changes the individual item, but it also updates and does the math for you. And the chart itself proportions out each segment according to the math. So that's pretty cool. If you turn this off, you can see it also eliminates the item and it does the math and gets rid of the segment that represents that entry. And of course, if you change the color of any of these, it will update 
the key here and also the portion of the circle that represents that item. So let's just reset all of that. And of course you can change the text as well. And that circle will animate on for you and animates out. And we also have six of these little tools here. Now these are pretty useful for a variety of cases. So for example, this right here will actually update depending on what we input for the angle. You can see it updates the number, also increases the uh, circle here. You can increase the radius of that circle. Lots of flexibility with that. Here's kind of a top view layout. And with this one, if you actually turn on the fusion overlay in this little menu down here, this will let you manually kind of draw out your shape. And then there's this one right here. Now this will actually create a floor plan and it's actually completely customizable. So let me just drag this onto the timeline and uh, I'm just going to turn the clip off here so we can see it a little bit better. Now, if you come down into the graphic controls menu right here, you can see we have individual controls for pretty much everything involved here. So we can disable or enable each of these walls. We can also add different elements. So for example, we can put a window right here. We can move the window. We can also make that a door or a door with an outline. We can make it an inside door. We can flip the direction around and we have that much control over every single wall. You can customize this into any kind of floor plan. You can even combine, you know, several of these. So like, for example, I'm just going to maybe we'll scale this one down to rotate it 90 degrees. Maybe scale it down even further here and maybe move this bottom one here a little bit out of the way. So you have kind of like a house and a garage. Obviously, a garage wouldn't have four doors like this, but maybe they have a bunch of windows, something like that. So you can really customize this, combine it, have several different instances and really build out a complete floor plan. And it even kind of animates on like that. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm just going to delete these and re-enable this clip here. So moving up here, we have 33 of these icons pretty much have an icon for everything and they all kind of draw on like this. So here's one for a bathroom. Maybe we'll put this one over this shot because it's a bathroom here. So we'll maybe push this over there. All right, so now I want to show you these showcase effects. Now we have nine different showcase effects here. Now these involve multiple clips. So the way this will work is I'm going to come over here and uh, I actually have several of these clips here of this giant log cabin. And what I can do is I'm going to stack these clips up like this. Let's uh, let's do four of them. And if we select all four of these and then right click and choose new fusion clip. And now they're all baked together into one fusion clip. And now what we can do is drag on one of these showcase effects. Now these are kind of heavy because I've got four, you know, 4K clips stacked up together. So uh, what you can do is come up here to playback, make sure your render cache is set to either user or smart, and then you can right click and then choose render cache fusion effect filter and then just enable your effect here. And then this will render that effect. And you can see this one kind of gives you this nice, almost like a slideshow presentation that uses all four of those clips. I think that looks really nice. And we have nine total showcases and they're all a really nice way to, you know, showcase a property or maybe multiple properties at the same time. Can't go wrong with any of them. And moving on from that, let's actually go back to the bottom here and take a look at these transitions. Now we have five total transitions. They all look fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put on number five here. That one kind of almost blinks and zooms out. And you can even click on the transition and toggle off that second footage movement if you want. In this case, I think because this footage right here is kind of moving in the opposite direction, we have kind of like a double movement. And so I think it does actually look better without that. And let's try maybe another transition. Let's try number two here. Cool. And lastly, I'm going to come back up here and let's take a look at these contact cards. Now these usually go at the end 
of a listing video. Now you can put in your own picture in there with your contact information. A really nice way to remind a future client how to get in touch with you. So I'm just going to add number eight here to the very end of this clip. And let's put a logo in there. Nice. So yeah, that's M Real Estate. It kind of has everything that you need for listing videos, showing off an Airbnb or an agency advert. All that kind of stuff is included all in one pack. So I hope you check it out. It's available right now on our website. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.